Okay, let me show you the contents of this video. Uh, first, I will explain uh, what is the need of animated plots. Then I will explain the two dimensional animated plots. I'm in the slow motion curve plotting uh, with a basic approach. Then I will use some inbuilt MATLAB functions to plot the slow motion animated curves. And uh, then I will show you the slow moving marker on the curve with the values. And then we will see uh, the making videos of animated plots. I mean, you can record the animations uh, in form of video. And then uh, we'll go for three dimensional animated plots with basic approach. And then we will go for animated uh, plots in 3D uh, with some inbuilt functions of MATLAB. So let's start this video. First, let's see what is the need of the animated plot. Actually, for more effective presentation of the data along with the colors and images, sometimes the animations are also needed, which attracts the audience. So an animated slow motion curve plotting expresses the results more effectively. And uh, the slow motion animation can reveal a fast changing variable uh, more explicitly. So such plotting shows us the flow or movement of one variable with respect to the uh, either time or with respect to another variable. So that's why the animation uh, always attracts the audience and always uh, makes the plots uh, easier to understand. So let's start this session. First, I will cover the two dimensional uh, animated plots. So let's see the first example. So this is the MATLAB code of my first program. So here I will plot a uh, simple uh, decaying sinusoidal wave uh, for time 0 to 50. So this is the time declaration and this is the function declaration that is the e power uh, minus 0 0.05 t uh, sine t. Okay, and uh, x's are defined, I mean the x uh, values and y values and uh, uh, the hold on and uh, then uh, the plot object is declared, that is the h. So here uh, the first uh, values are plotted as t1, y1 and then you can define the color of the plots such as uh, I am uh, defining the red here, these are actually the RGB values. You can make any RGB combinations to produce any color and you can define the uh, line width of plot. And uh, then grid on just to have the grids on the plots. And then with this for loop, uh, what I'm doing, I'm just uh, taking one uh, set of X and Y values and then uh, displaying on the uh, graph axis. So, now I am using this uh, pause function uh, to control the speed of plotting, okay. So you can change this uh, uh, value uh, to either make it faster or slower, okay. So let me show you the execution of this program and uh, what type of output I will achieve. So let me jump to the MATLAB. So this is my MATLAB and uh, uh, program 1 is already written here. So I will simply run it. And uh, this type of animation you will achieve is slow moving, a exponentially decaying sine wave. You can uh, plot any function like this, okay. So let me close it. Now come back to the presentation. Now this is the second example. Uh, here I'm doing the same thing, uh, but with help of uh, the inbuilt function of MATLAB that is a comet. So defining the time variable from 0 to 2 pi and then uh, getting the some x and y values like cos t, uh, then cos uh, square t, sine 2t into cos square t like that. So this is the function that will plot a slow motion uh, curve uh, with help of this uh, inbuilt MATLAB function. So let me show you uh, what type of output I will achieve uh, from the execution of this program. So it is already written, just press uh, this run button. Okay, so this type of output you will achieve. So you will get this uh, comet. So this is the head of the comet and you can see this uh, tail of the comet, right? So it is uh, animated. 
uh, which is achieved by the inbuilt function of the MATLAB. But in this case, I don't have much control over the type of plot. I mean, uh, the different color schemes uh, uh, or the width of the line, etc. So this is what uh, I achieve from this inbuilt function. So it is a very dull color, very boring uh, output. Okay, so here I'm getting this beautiful infinite symbol from this uh, uh, trigonometric plot x versus y. So this is the output of my uh, this program. And now let me show you the another program. Uh, this is uh, the use of uh, the again inbuilt function animated line. Okay, so this is a, a function which is introduced in the newer versions of MATLAB. So it will not be available in very old versions. So the program one is compatible to all versions. Okay, so if your uh, MATLAB version does not uh, support this uh, uh, function, then you can go to uh, program one. So that will work on the older MATLAB versions. So now let's see the syntax. Uh, here I'm plotting actually the three signed waves. Okay, three sine waves which are separated by uh, uh, 120 degree apart. Actually, I'm plotting the three phase voltages. I mean the R phase, Y phase and B phase. So here you can see uh, in the output the three uh, red, yellow and blue color sine waves which are separated by 120 degree with each other. So first you have to declare this animated line object. Uh, here you can define the color and the line width. Uh, so here I am taking the red color and then I'm taking the yellow color and then I'm taking the blue color for the third sine wave. So these are three objects and now you can uh, define the axis. Uh, then the time vector is uh, obtained and now the functions are calculated. So this is the first sign that is the red uh, which is the sine t and this is the second sine wave which is uh, separated by the 2 pi by 3. Uh, which is the blue color and this is the third which is uh, yellow and separated by 4 pi by 3. Okay, so grid is on here and here uh, inside this for loops uh, we are adding these points uh, from uh, time vector and the corresponding y values. Okay, so here uh, the three uh, different curves are plotted simultaneously in slow motion and draw now is updating all the values uh, in that uh, uh, windows. And with the pause, you can uh, control uh, the speed of animation. So let me show you uh, the output of this program. So this is the program three. It is already written here. So let me run this program. So this is the output which you will achieve from this uh, program. So here you can see the three uh, sinusoidal waves are making a three phase uh, voltage or current system. Okay. And uh, now let me show you the, another example. Uh, this is the example of a slow moving marker with values. Actually, uh, what you will achieve here, you have already plotted uh, uh, a curve and you want to see uh, the data cursor. Data cursor means uh, with X and Y value. So here you can move this data cursor slowly uh, along this uh, uh, curve. So you get all the corresponding x and y values, okay. So first x value, uh, I mean the x vector is defined, then y that is a sine x. This is your function, the function is plotted, okay, and it is held. And then uh, this object is defined uh, with the uh, marker face color red, I mean you, you will get a red dot. Uh, so this is uh, because of the red dot. So here you can define some other symbols like star, uh, diamond, etc. So that complete listing is given in the MATLAB documentation. And uh, then uh, within this for, for loop, uh, I'm updating the X values and Y values, okay. And now with this uh, string, uh, a string is created uh, for these uh, corresponding X and Y values to be printed along with this uh, cursor uh, movement. So this is 0.4 F means uh, up to the decimal four points uh, floating value I'm taking for X and Y values. And with this text command, I'm inserting this text into uh, this graph window uh, at the specified coordinate X, K and Y, K. 
and with the color 101 means uh, magenta color and the font size you can also control that is a 14. So draw now is updating the data point and after each update draw now you have to delete this string. Uh, if you don't delete this uh, then all the text will remain at their uh, places so that will spoil your uh, plotting okay. So you have to delete uh, this text after each update. So now let me show you uh, that what output you will achieve from this program. Okay, so this is the program and uh, now I am running it. And uh, this is the output which you will achieve. So you can see that this uh, sine wave is already plotted and now the data cursor is moving along uh, this uh, plotted sine wave. Uh, showing all the x and corresponding y values okay so this is uh, how you achieve this and uh, uh, the speed of this movement you can control by uh, having uh, the number of uh, appropriate number of points i mean the x y pairs so if you reduce the x y pairs it will move faster okay so let me close it and now let me jump to the presentation so this is the next program, a program 5, where I will show you that how you can record this animation as a video. So this is very helpful uh, because uh, uh, for your presentation, uh, suppose you want to show uh, this type of uh, animated plot uh, in your PowerPoint presentation. So uh, there you don't need MATLAB, just record the animation and make uh, a video of it and then insert that video in your uh, PPT presentation. Okay, so this is a very uh, important program. So here uh, to record the animation, first you need to declare this uh, video writer object uh, with the defined uh, output file. So the output will be recorded uh, by this name myplot.avi, okay. And then uh, you have to uh, define the frame rate. So it depends on the type of plot. Okay, so here I'm updating uh, uh, the plot at every count. That's why I have uh, taken this uh, frame rate as one. And then uh, open uh, this object for writing, then uh, defining this theta value. Actually, I'm here, uh, here plotting a polar plot. Okay, so this is not a simple uh, plot, it's a polar plot. So that will plot the radius and the angle, I mean the theta and the distance uh, r. So this is my function sine k theta and uh, uh, taking the absolute value of it and then square root. Okay, so uh, this I am getting as a distance r and then uh, plotting with respect to the theta, I mean 0 to 2 pi. And then uh, here you can define its color and the line width. And uh, you can also give the uh, limit of uh, R, I mean the radius, uh, for better view. And uh, then uh, with the get frame, uh, we are capturing all the plots one by one and they are getting into the frame. And then with frame, uh, we are writing uh, this frame as, uh, I mean this image as a video frame by this function write video. So your video... Uh, is written by the name myplot.avi and that you can find in your current directory. So once it is done, then you have to close it, this uh, video writer object. So let me run this program and show you what type of output you will achieve. Okay, so this is my program and let me run this program. So this is the output which you are achieving. This is actually the polar plot, okay. So for all values of k, I mean k is varying from 1 to 10, you are getting the 10 number of plots. So this is uh, last one for k equal to 10. And let me show you that uh, whether I uh, got this video in my current directory or not. I mean this uh, myplot.avi. So this is my current directory and here you can see that uh, myplot uh, uh, file is created uh, of type avi as I, I have defined a dot avi extension there. So let me run this. Uh, so this will be played by this VLC. So you can see that uh, how I could create uh, a video uh, that has uh, that animation recorded. So this video you can insert in, in your PowerPoint presentation. And now let me show you the, another program. 
now let's go to the three dimensional uh, animated plots okay so first i'm taking uh, a basic approach so this uh, program can run on uh, older version of uh, matlab also and here you have the full uh, i mean control uh, over the plotting you can change anything so here i'm plotting uh, uh, this uh, sine t versus cos t with respect to the time as a as the z direction so here uh, i have the x uh, axis y axis and then uh, z axis okay so x axis values i'm getting by the sine t y from cos t and z is uh, progressing time so here uh, we are defining the axis so the first two values are for x second two values are for y and last two values are for z axis and axis type square these are just to uh, make the uh, plot beautiful you can omit them uh, grid is on and then hold is on so uh, this plot three plot three uh, will be used to plot this three dimensional plot so first the object is declared that is h with the first pair x1 y1 and z1 uh, this plot will be of red color you can uh, change it uh, such as blue uh, white black etc and then line width is two you can control the line widths also and inside this for loop uh, we are just uh, taking each uh, uh, pair of x y and z uh, and then uh, updating the plot okay so with help of this pause and uh, i mean a, a value inside this pause you can control the speed of animation so let me show you what output i will achieve from uh, this uh, program so this is my program six and let me run this program so this is the output which i will get i'm in the sin x versus cos x uh, with respect to this uh, uh, time in the z direction i'm in the sin t versus cos t so obviously i will get a circle and it is progressing in the time so that's why i'm getting this spiral okay so this beautiful plot i'm achieving uh, like this let me close it and go to the another program and uh, this is uh, also a very special uh, 3D plot where uh, I have plotted two different uh, curves in a same window. So here I have uh, used the stem three. I mean, I'm using a stem plot as well as a, a simple line plot. I mean, both are 3D, but in the same window, okay? So this is also the basic approach and that will run in all versions of MATLAB. So uh, this is actually my function that is e power uh, minus omega t uh, where omega is actually 0.1 plus uh, j. So that is a complex function. So I'm plotting uh, its real versus um, imaginary, okay, with respect to the progressing time in the z direction. And uh, these are the uh, x limits, y limits and z limits, axis square, grid on, hold on. And then plotting uh, the first uh, uh, values, initial values of x1, y1, z1. Uh, here you can define the colors. You can give any RGB values to produce any color. And uh, at the same time, I am uh, also plotting uh, uh, the stem tree as well as the simple line plot. So this is of red color. And this is uh, something different. I mean 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. It will get something else. Uh, the line width uh, you can also control uh, here and inside this uh, for loop I am just updating all the points one by one. So let me show you what output I will achieve uh, from this uh, program. So this program is already here. Let me run this program. So this is the output which I will achieve and here you can see that two different plots are uh, obtained simultaneously I mean this red one is simply line 3 that is obtained uh, by the plot 3 command and uh, these vertical lines and dots you can see uh, that is a stamp 3 that is because of the stamp 3 okay so this type of curve you are achieving uh, from this uh, program so if you uh, look from the top this is a spiral okay and you can see this beautiful plot like like this so let me close it and let me show the another program 
and uh, this is a three dimensional uh, animated plot with help of the inbuilt function comet 3. Okay, as comet uh, for two dimensional, I have the comet 3 for three dimensional. So, this is a very short one and here again I do not have much control over uh, the types and uh, 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 types of plot, its colors and widths etc. So, I will whatever I will uh, achieve, I will achieve uh, that is uh, provided by the MATLAB. So, let me run this program here I am plotting the two functions uh, x and y. So, uh, this is e power minus 0 0.05 t uh, uh, cos t uh, versus uh, e power minus 0 0.5 t sin t. So, this function x versus y versus t. So, I am plotting. So, let me show you the outcome of this uh, program. So, this is my AIDS program and this is the output. Okay. So, this is what I will achieve using comet 3. So, you can see the comet head and this red color comet tail. Uh, this has only the flexibility to control this length of the tail. Okay. And uh, this type of boring curve I will achieve from this a dull or faded orange color plot. So, that what I will achieve with help of this comet 3. And now, let me show you another one. Uh, this uh, is uh, uh, the 3D plot again with help of the inbuilt function animated line. So, that is uh, that will be supported by the newer versions of MATLAB. Okay. So, you have to check uh, whether your MATLAB supports it or not. I think it was introduced uh, after 2014 versions or later. Uh, here first you have to declare this animated line object edge. Uh, you can define the color and you can define the line width, then time vector here and then x and y values. So, here I am taking the e power 0.005 t sin 10 t and uh, uh, cos t. So, these are exponentially uh, expanding uh, sine and cosine waves. And third dimension is your time, then uh, defining the axis. Uh, and the type of axis is square, great and inside this for loop we are adding the points ok one after one and draw now that means you are uh, updating your plot and with help of this pause you can control the speed of animation. So, let me show you what output you will achieve from this program. So, this is the output ok. So, this uh, pink color is simulated with help of this RGB value 1.4.5. So, this is the output which you will achieve. So, this uh, plot you can see a very beautiful plot. Okay. So, let me close it and then go to the another program. And this is my 10th program which is the last one. Here I have uh, shown you that uh, how you can animate a surface plot, three dimensional surface plot. So, first uh, we are declaring the x y match grid, I mean all x uh, and y uh, points, x and y points which are evenly spaced points uh, from minus 8 to plus 8. So, the 0 point of course will be in middle. Uh, then uh, this is uh, 8 and minus 8, this is also 8 and minus 8. So, this is uh, minus 8 to plus 8 x y grid and then this is my function uh, r that is a square root uh, x square plus y square. So, that is your r uh, plus a small value is added uh, just to avoid uh, this uh, uh, mathematical error at the x y equal to 0 uh, because I am computing this uh, sin r upon r this sin r upon r. So, at uh, x 0 y 0 r will be 0. So, divided by 0 you will get the infinite value. So, that is why to avoid that uh, we have used this epsilon and uh, now inside this for loop uh, I am just uh, changing this uh, k. So, here I am plotting this sin k r upon k r. So, k is varying from uh, 0.1 to uh, 5 in the step size of 0 0.01. 
okay and then a mesh plot is uh, utilized here for these x y z values and some uh, decoration is done here i mean uh, the face color is of type interpolation edge color is none and axes are defined and then uh, the value of k is printed over the uh, plot so a string is there uh, that is uh, k equal to and then uh, value of your k uh, up to the uh, one point uh, decimal and then displaying this uh, text uh, on these uh, coordinates uh, 10 5.5 I mean x y z values uh, color is red and the font size is 15 and with this pause you can uh, change the speed of uh, animation so let me show you what type of output I will achieve from it. So this is the last one and this is uh, the output okay. So here you can see that k is uh, updating k equal to 1, 1.1, 1.2 and this is a corresponding uh, sine wave I mean, I mean sine r upon r. So this is very beautiful plot we achieve and also you can try the other functions such as uh, uh, surf surf uh, you can also use that matlab functions for plotting so it has a flexibility okay so k equal to 5 and this plot stops so this is my last one so that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed a lot and uh, next time whenever you make your presentation you will make a beautiful presentation with help of these uh, sample programs and you can attract your audience okay so that's it for this video lecture i really thank you all for watching this video please uh, like it uh, share it goodbye